Hi. <laughs> my name. Hi. My name's Alex Shandon for some ungodly fucking reason. They asked me to interview Danny fucking Phil. Second, I can I'm not get you. I should make you actual face. Shall I start with a simple question? Danny. This DVD, what's it got on it? Some stuff. <laughs> The fucking cradle logo holding the candles. Oh dear. Come on, give it some fucking black metal. Bit of sweets to suck it by. Uh, it's like an interim release. Originally, it was due to be um, an EP of sorts, and in essence, it is. Um, seeing as only half of it is new tracks, um, I say interim because at the time we were between record labels, between Music for Nations, uh, on which Midian was the last release. There is a man who's busy in front of lots of lights. We've saved him a beer in a fridge. But the chances of him getting that beer diminishes by every second. Eggy hey, Chunks pouring up a beer. Jamie doing a good job drinking one. So, what's it like, Jamie, being here with a filthy fox? So, John, could you explain this uh, thing with eggs and stuff? <laughs> Being called Eggy Chunks, you seem to know a lot about eggs. So, uh, what's the deal? Give us a full lowdown of the Sheffield egg scene. Well, it's just a man. It's a dying scene. It's a dying scene. Yeah, try my best, you know. <laughs> would say was weird was when it goes bam 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 oh, it's literally half the tempo and it sounds fucking weird we had a few discussions about that we couldn't really do just uh, that mid bit you know when the keyboard break starts that's at uh, one tempo that, that, that bit's fine mm. sorry mm. something you like it's alright yeah. <laughs>
And don't stop for that car because it could be an axe murderer. <laughs> <laughs> probably for some of the footage that's mixed in there. It's, uh, it's a real pain in the arse. Uh, what sort of music influences you and the band at the moment? Overgrand wombling free, the wombles of Wimbledon come and are we making good use of the things that we find, things that the everyday folk leave behind. Music influences us. Uh, well, I can say that I haven't bought a lot of records recently, but that is one benefit of going on tour, is uh, all the freebies, um, doing signings and emptying the racks. He's hit Bob show, so I have a test right Yeah, they snooped up. Premises. No. <laughs> 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 
Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just recently do a, did a tour in America with um, Nile and a band called God Forbid, which was probably one of the best tours we've done, uh, just because of diversity. Um, to most people, it wouldn't seem that diverse, but it was like it worked really well, rather than a tour with all the same bands, because there's a lot of bands that do sound the same nowadays. <laughs> what had happened was, like, I brought her upstairs and she was she was trying to do a, a pagan ritual with Crazy Ghost. Y'all are full of shit. You listen to metal. You're all evil. I'm out of here. Hey, you know what? Fuck this shit, man. <laughs> I'm tired of motherfuckers bringing this shit up. It happened. It passed. Everybody gets my black ass. I'm tired of this shit. There's been some pretty mad things on tour. Uh, the fan base is pretty mad generally around the world. That's one of the questions we do get asked quite a lot. Um, I say, which is the weirdest audience, and uh, I'd say pretty much all of them. Australia, yeah. Australia, fucking metal. Yeah. Australia, fucking metal. Australia, fucking metal. Australia, Signing sessions where people bring um, fake legs to sign, which is strange. As is an occasion in Australia, where we sign the, the person took the leg off and put it there, we signed it, they put it back on, and then later on at the show, it was thrown on stage. <laughs> I don't know whether they did it voluntarily or whether somebody just went, oh, fuck it. <laughs> 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 We all get blamed for this, you know. Just because you won't drink a whiskey and coke. Last chance, Paul. I don't care. It's going. <laughs> well, let's see it. There's all kinds of... Uh, I won't go too... Too indefinite. There's all kinds of mischief happens on tour. As you can well imagine. He looks like a good target. Brian. Ready? <laughs> Come on, just have a fucking drink. He's got an early flight now. Early flight? I didn't say early flight. Yeah, you, shall I play it back to you? No, perhaps you said girly flight. Girly flight, yes. Oh, I did actually, I said girly flight. <laughs> say it to the camera, man, so we I got it. What a dream. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 
murdered you, you might be a fucking drink of Yeah. Come on, Norman. Come on, boy. Get, fucking, get, get out of here, man. For fuck's sake. Put your fucking head together. Throw him on the floor. Just throw him on the floor. Gone. There you go. Yeah, we're gonna go to that. Is that a club at 8 o'clock? Alright, let's fucking go, man. It's half an hour to kill. 25 minutes past 7, everybody. Hello? Hello. 30 35 Hello. minutes to go. Oh, we're all Seven. fucking bollocks. I subscribe to your philosophy, alright, man? Yeah, we're gonna go with him because I can't. Hello. Fuck off. <laughs> 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 going to play. Uh, Two shows in Greece, and um, we're sitting here. And uh, how are we doing? Ill. You're ill, are you? So, what's been your consumption over the night on this flight? Yeah. And the glands are coming on fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your consumption of the night. Uh huh. Uh, he's writing riffs at the moment. What? No, actually, he's making excuses why he hasn't written riffs and why he's bonged out of his tits and why his tits are hanging down. We've got our tour manager fast asleep, whisking his tits off, popped a couple of E's, and well ready for coming to Greece. And also we got the lovely singer, Sarah, who's trying to escape. You're enjoying this flight, yes? You fancy sharing it with the people who are watching? No comments from I've Sarah. I've had one vodka and a quick tamper with my little bits. Uh huh. That was my first evening. Nobody knew about that one. Apart from me, it's fun. I'm not saying anything. Talking, you redhead fucking bell end. You, you fucking cunt. That's it, that's it. It's alright for you to get in other people's fucking beds. You, you fucking two faced little cock head riding nobbin. Look, he's got his arm. Ah, I can see your willy. Miracles, but two. Miracles, but two. Can I spoon down your crack? <laughs> Oi, leave the bad man's alone. Come on, get your ass out of here. It's a warm vent on spare Why should I keep this? Oh, you didn't come up on this form. Nice one. Love it back. Rob, you're putting across a feeling here that you don't want to be filmed. <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> oh, hello! I'm gonna drink the whole gallon of fucking bottle then. Okay! Okay, Chris! Danny Phil. He has his real. He's, he just gotta talk. Chris, I don't know if you can see up there. No. There's mountains that surround this place. I dare say they're probably part of Mount Olympus. You ain't gonna see that far, you see that. You ain't gonna see the shit on Mount Olympus, it's miles away. But what you will see, it's interesting, it's me sacrificing my only socks for the tour. Okay, sock. There it is. Stinks to high heaven. I'll wrap it up a bit. 
I need to get it over there. Look, look, look at that fucking place. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. One minute. You probably won't see this, but here it goes. You fucking shit! Fucking shit, wasn't it? Look at that. Okay, so in the morning, I didn't embarrass myself too much last night. This is the view from my balcony. This, my friends, is up the land of the god. And home, I believe, of the beard. God forbid! Oh no, it's gone through a transformation. Dude! Woohoo! Long live, rock and roll! And then they dab it out of the fucking lid. Yeah? Don't give them the bottle. And with the touring, which you know, which you do quite a lot, obviously. I guess it doesn't get boring, but you must do things to... Well, we try and make things special, so in, in, by that means we, we pick and choose our tours. Like for this year, we've, um, I wouldn't say we've been exceptionally busy, but we've been to Japan and Australia on a sort of Far Eastern tour. I had to find the mirror. I had to see. Think of the film Bright Spot, Martin. I do. 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 I do.
screams so loud that you wake up Zimmer from his eternal slumber on Monster Island. Come on, fucking here! Got her. Japanese phone that everybody in the band just loves. <laughs> I make a good drink. What are you all doing? This is this way. It's this way. It's this way. It's this way. It's this way. was obviously the Nottingham show which is on this very DVD and video for those of you who can't afford a DVD player and still living in the dark ages and uh, American tour a full American tour and there's like I say Tattoo the Planet so we do pick and choose um, we try and make our shows a bit more of an event so you know unfortunately you won't find us playing down at the Fleece and Firkin Hey! 
30 years time, I can't even see myself still being alive in 30 years time. Um, as soon as we're going on tour next week, perhaps 30 days time. <laughs> so what's your verdict? <laughs> see what's happening here but it looks like <laughs> looks like we're having a good time junk <laughs> oh shit <laughs> uh, the elevator stopped and um, it's not so funny anymore in Spain Man, I, I'm trying hard to get focus of you here, and it's... That's better. I look better when I'm blurred. It's all a struggle. It's really heavy. The world sits upon my shoulders. It's a burden of curry. I do not understand why you have done this to me. Oh, great one. Save me. Save me. Hello, I need to speak to manager. I need to speak to manager. Kebab house manager. Kebab. 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 Anje party kebab. You 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 burn my party. I want kebab. Kebab. I want fish kebab. Hello. Hello. I I want chicken kebab. You burn my party. I want chicken. It's not fair. You have my papa dumb, you take it. I want no chicken kebab. Kebab! Hello! Hello! Cheese kebab! The situation with the band at the moment, Rob, is no longer with you. That's right. Um, well, if it be known, Rob's been sort of wavering, I think, on um, pursuing his own kind of thing. It's not, it's no personal grievances or anything like that. Rob uh, just feels like he wants to go his own way. We still are good friends with Rob, still remain in contact. 
I feel that he just wants to pursue his own career and uh, uh, it's kind of a mutual thing. I mean, we're sorry to see him go. We would, you know, offer him back with open arms if he, if he so wanted to because at the moment we obviously remain uh, without a permanent uh, bassist. But maybe some with no legs or something. Well, that's, that's possible. No arms wouldn't be. <laughs> Unless, of course, they could play with their feet, and then uh, I, I strongly recommend them to form their own band. Is there in some of your past videos that I think the ones that I directed? <laughs> Yeah, we use dwarves, amputees, freaks. And that's a band. <laughs> Can you see your, your show is becoming even more theatrical than, than they are? The reason we've been doing videos and been a bit more artistic and uh, visual of late is because it's becoming a bigger band. There's obviously the finance there to do that. So obviously the finance is on the table, which hopefully it will be being on Epic to take out full stage productions, um, then yeah, of course we'll pursue it. Your fan base is still growing though, would you continue being quite filthy? Don't you have to become more commercial? Well, probably not after watching this pathetic attempt in the interview. <laughs> No, no, there's no deliberate attempt to do anything. If that was the case, you'd become um, a parody of yourself. You'd be writing music by numbers and you'd be banging out albums every week. So, Fuck. <laughs> Cheers, Alex. I'm off. So, uh, is it true that 80% uh, of the time you're on tour, you're all fucked out of your head on drugs and booze? <laughs> I think I've told you once, Mr. Shandon. No. I'm mixed up, Sim. As much as you want to, we're not going across the street. No, Paul, get off! <laughs> <laughs> and that kid's his entertainment. I think he's enjoying himself. <laughs> a line of peanuts, he's going to do a line of peanuts. More to smoke than John. <laughs> He's not as entertaining. <laughs> is he a collection of swords? Oh, he is, yeah. John's uh, quite fanatical about uh, the whole medieval thing. Hi. This is. Uh... My room in the studio. Basically, I sleep here. We all have a room each. I suppose because we're embattled in Hastings. Well, in Hastings. It's very influential. It's got this sword. Managed to get this. Ninja sword. Good for fucking around with. I suppose spreading some nice margarine on your toes. Yeah, I've got my sword slot, my Hastings book. It's all about luxury computer. And of course, bomb. 
man. Was you care for a bomb? Hey. Is that your hydro bomb? Float away. Imagine you're in India. Slip into the And then I have some monkeys at the window. Do you have any peanuts to throw them? And he uh, regularly uh, battle reenacts with um, various members of the Viking Association. Um, what well, he gets up from to it, God knows. A fine Saxon style oh. Viking blade used for. Impaling on small barbers buttocks. But yeah, he's fanatical about swords. <laughs> yeah, with Doug Bradley, Pinhead, of the Hellraiser series. And also, he was in a film called Nightbreed as the Oracle of Midian. And uh, last album, the, uh, the theme was Midian, uh, the hidden city where the monsters live. And so it seemed apt to have his voice uh, as almost an oracle. Did he, um, get, did he get on with you guys? Yeah, yeah. In fact, he came, if you can remember, because you were there, but I doubt you can, because you're fucked out your head on, on something. Drink! Stop! Drink! Stop! Drink! Drink! I don't know where it is, Alex. <coughs> Fuck. Where are you? That's not a good idea. <coughs> went down the wrong way, I'm so sorry. Oh. Well, I'm back. up now as well. Nothing to do with me, I'm out. Out! Out! It's me, I'm back sorry. Bring! <laughs> it's really, it's really bad. Can we answer that? I know. Oh, we sorted it out, didn't we? Is he leaving? Is he leaving? Is he leaving? You're quite famous for your merchandise, one t-shirt in particular. Oh, come on, come on, be honest. Ask it. Do we take drugs, Mr. Shandon? No. And the answer is no. So we got the bong master John here. <laughs> <laughs> Come I can hold my fucking booze, I'll tell you. So he can't. Thank you. Can't hold him. 25 past 7. Okay, I'll give you a hug. I thank you. Right. This is what pills do to you, man. Oh. My friend! Perils of drug use. Yeah. Don't fucking encounter it. Oh, hello. My name's Trevor. I've got a paper round, you know. Tape. Eat the tape. Mm, that might be a good bit. <laughs> yeah, this is the bit with Adrian. Mm. Eat it. Uh, tell me about urine. You right. You right. Um, I think people can see that. Uh, Martin, lampshade, his own piss. Uh, put it together or watch it. In fact. <laughs> fucking fun. All right. <laughs> But drink your own warm piss then. Go on, drink your own piss. Oh, come on, this is boring. Fuck it. Come on, piss. He 
is a, a guitarist, very gothic. This is Paul A, previously Principal Evil May Flash, yeah. And this is our other guitarist, Jayan. I beat this chick at my house. Um, we're doing dares as well for the thing. We're daring each other a lot of money to do different things. I'm prepared to eat at least five moths in a row. Adrian. Adrian's going to eat a whole two litre tub of ice cream. Looking at me? I can't stand it anymore. You looking at me? Yeah, I'll come. Eat it! <laughs> eat them all! Go on, go, eat it, swallow it. Swallow it, man, swallow it. Get it down, yeah. You, uh... <laughs> situation here we've been doing for a while uh, it's it basically goes like you eat stuff for money and the more disgusting the better and here's a pretty fucking disgusting thing on the roof and fuck Dan's gonna eat it here for five pounds <laughs> It tastes like that. <laughs> Give us a look again for the camera. Credit <laughs> <laughs> fear, briefly, because I don't want to blow my own trumpets. <laughs> well, you know, it's just that one little bit in your spine, isn't it? If that was to go, next evolutionary step. I seem to remember covering your blood about 30, 40 times. Yeah. What's your most memorable experience of making that film? Um, probably killing your cat. Well, not actually killing his cat. The cat was probably the star of the film. Really well behaved. He loved it. In fact, uh, after we stabbed him with what was a fake knife and removed his entrails, he sat there in a the corner and licked all the blood off, didn't he? <laughs> Just use your head to not block any light to David. Right. Just do it with your right. eyes. Right, so nobody's doing it again, but block the light. Yeah, yeah. Say that again, David, I don't. And hit you or whatever else. I'm ready to go, Tristan. I hate you. I really hate you. I hate you forever and a day up in the down dale until the end of fucking time. <laughs> right, and action. Just flip that. Action. Come on, come on. Very uplifting. Very up Drinking other bastards. This is the wine of choice for me, Alex Shandon, and the band Cradle of Filth. We are here in their lovely, expensive recording studios, and uh, we've just arrived. Uh, here is Danny uh, Filth himself, the man, the legend. Danny, man of pleasure. We'd like to tell us something about your uh, abode. Yes, sir. come hither. Do you have slaves here? Slaves. Yeah. Uh, we have, yeah, we've got cleaners and uh, waiters. Producer, this way, sip. What's, the, what's this? It does what it says on the label. <laughs> Very strong. No, not at all. It's reasonably strong. 80%. That's horrible. When, when do I puke? Have you timed it? 
So j- just just talk about Midian. Just talk about shit. No, you're like, Midian. Ah! <laughs> I said talk about shit, don't stand in it. Danny, you yeah, talk about Midian, talk about this place. Oh, well, what's it about? I mean, look. not this place, but... Handy, just walking along and, oh look, there's a castle there. Well, you know, they've gone. Fucking hell. It's so weird what you find in London, isn't it? Epic scenery just follows me about. I've lived in London 20 years, you know what I mean? It's just, you always find somewhere new. King's Cross is only 20 minutes away, isn't it? I think we should sell this. It should be Danny Filth talks castles. sheep are behind, behind me now, blinky, fluffy, um, the one running away is called Bob, Bob's my favourite. The album's going really, really well, it's going to be recorded in about eight weeks. Um, oh, what an idiot, mate. Excuse me, mate, excuse oh. me, you know, we're filming here. Sorry, mate. For oh, fuck's sake. I didn't, didn't see the camera. Do you like Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> Arnold, Arnold, where is Arnold? Bring him here. <laughs> I'm gonna tell tell him how real German works out, you know? We're a photo shoot for an enemy. <laughs> He fucking loves that whip. Hello. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, really good fun. Diesel. <laughs> 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 oh, it's not working. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 